So hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sixbox, Six, Six, <laughs> Sixbox, how did I f*** up my own name, okay. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sixbox, and today we are going to be playing First Winter. Now, what's kind of ironic about this is I've actually had this game on my list to record for months now. And when I say months, I literally mean months that this thing has been sitting on my desktop, and for some reason, I have just never came across to record it. So, with the month of October and everything being kind of spooky, I thought this was going to be a perfect opportunity to finally crack this bad boy open and give her a shot. So so, I don't know anything about it, <laughs> to be honest, except for it's going to be some type of pixelated kind of retro horror game, and that's it. That's literally all I know. So, there's a good chance that you have seen this before. Like I said, this game has been out for a couple months now, except for I don't know too much about it. But without further ado, let's jump into this bad boy. Oh! We're in Redway. Right okay, so 16th April 1982, Los Angeles, USA. Oh, okay, this is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie, for first impressions, it's kind of got that awesome appeal. Is this an Atari? Oh no, what is this? It, no, it's, it's a little bit different. It's just a joystick. Okay, we're gonna put that down. Is that a... Never mind, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna say that was totally something else. Oh, wait, we could turn this thing on. Can I, like, sit down and play it? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, am I supposed to leave the room? Okay, we are. Oh! They got some bumping 80s jams going on, man. Is that a chicken? That looks like a chicken. Okay. Oh, dude. Does this TV turn on, too? This is actually legitly awesome, though. Like, I haven't played too many pixelated games, but I love it where it's not like a 2D or kind of like a side score game where it's more of like a first person. This style is actually pretty awesome. Can we turn this bad boy off? No, we can't. <laughs> we are stuck with the bumping 80s jams. All right. Uh, bathroom. Nothing in the bathroom. Okay, see, I literally don't know any objectives, what we're supposed to do, or the whole goal or reasoning behind this game. Uh, let's go check out the kitchen. WNG 103.7, we'll get back, back to the music to... right away, but I do have some breaking news this afternoon coming out of the White House. The U.S. Navy is reporting it's intercepted a Soviet submarine in the North Pacific. The suspicious vessel was first spotted around 120 nautical miles west of Los Angeles. A senior United States Navy officer has described the nuclear power submersible as being provocatively close, which does not sound good, and it's currently unknown if the vessel is equipped with nuclear weapons. The Soviet Minister for Foreign Affairs has denied any provocation and insists that the submarine is in international waters and therefore has no obligation to abandon its routine exercises in the area. So we'll give you more on this situation as and when we get it. But now let's get right back into the music right now on WNG 103.7. WNG, baby. All right. No, okay, so the little update, as you guys have obviously just heard, is there's some type of submarine that is in international waters that could potentially be carrying nuclear missiles. It's locked. Oh, this is so interesting. So am I literally going to be just kind of stuck in between the living room, the bathroom, and our bedroom? Is this how it's supposed to work? So, can I... Wait, what if I turn... Oh, that's not what I wanted. The front door. Is that what it wants me to... Dude, everything... Oh, this is so creepy, dude. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, never mind. Can I turn this on? Boy, I don't like that. There's like a ticking noise. I don't know what that is. Oh, dude, this... What is going on? This went from like zero to a hundred really, really fast. Okay, wait, it's locked. No. No, that means it wants me to go back. And if I go back, that means something else is going to drastically happen. I am... Oh, wait, what is this? 
You picked up the cassette tape, okay? So when I got an achievement too called the first cassette tape, so which means there actually might be multiple if there's gonna be, if that one's gonna be considered the first. That's what I'm trying to get at. So now that we pick this up, is it, okay, it's open. But every, everything's still pure white. Can I close this? Oh, oh, dude, this is gonna be some weird puzzle. It's kind of like the game that I played a couple days ago on the three random games. I I think it was called Unbridled Horror. That's kind of what this one's reminding me of, where things are constantly changing. More like a little bit of like a PT kind of style in a sense. So let's put this cassette tape into the cassette player. There is nothing intrinsically wrong with being in a location if your actions in that place cause no harm or intimidation. A problem may occur, on the other hand, if one is considered a threat whilst occupying such a vicinity. The mother will risk her life to chase away anything should she perceive a risk to her car. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know right off the bat. This... Dude, this is so weird, like, in its own way. Like I said, this is extremely resembling what I played a couple days ago called Unbridled Horror, but this is kind of its own spin, and it says survival under the atomic attack. Is this all supposed to be based off of, like, the Cold War? See, I know it said it was in the mid-80s, but the thing is, I don't exactly remember my history 100% here or when the whole Cold, Cold War situation was going down so that may be wrong and i apologize if that is the wrong statement but the way this game is kind of setting everything up is what's making me lead my beliefs towards that is the inspiration behind all of this now i'm kind of stuck in between these two rooms at the moment so we got three benches or shelves we have a poster we have a door and then we have a cassette player there's got to be something Never mind. I thought we were going to go back and this was going to be the cassette player room again, but it opened up to something totally different once again. Okay. Oh, this is scary. Okay, let's shut it. I think this is what we're supposed to do. And then we. <gasps> That's not what I was expecting. Oh, God. No jump scare. No jump scare. Okay. Wait, is this. No, no, no. The door's on the other side. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh. Are we in this? What? Okay, there's a dead body right there, but hang on a sec. Are we in the actual submarine? I can't grab anything else. This dude, this is so spooky. Okay, so if I, wait, wait. Oh, there's a door here. Is it- there's like blood in the water or something, I don't- What- what was that? Dude, I just- this thing is getting on my nerves, like, in a good way, but also like, it's so freaking scary how things keep changing. And honestly, I don't know what it is about this like, pixelated vibe, but it makes things so much more eerie, like, I can't even see, like, 10 feet in front of me. Okay. <laughs> Morris code. Okay, that's cool. I <laughs> I can manually enter Morris code. Wait, wait a minute. This sounds like Morris code. Okay, okay, I think <laughs> that's really weird, but I figured out. Okay, I think that's <laughs> I think that's how it goes. <laughs> Come on, I I can't remember it. Okay, hang on, it's like. Okay, okay, we gotta 
listen to it one more time. I figured out what it is. So that alarm that's actually in the other room is supposed to be the Morris code password in which we need to memorize. But the thing is, I'm like so bad at memorizing things right now. Okay, we gotta wait for it to restart. Okay, right here. Da, 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 da. Okay, hey, I think I got it. So, okay. So it starts out with four, and then there's gonna be a long one. I think I have it down. Okay, it's kind of weird how my brain works, but I gotta figure this out where I can get it myself. So it's gonna go. <laughs> that was creepy. Okay, we got it though. So I was correct. That was the Morse code password that we were supposed to insert. Wow, I can't talk. But okay, that was actually a very well thought out puzzle. I like that one. So congrats to the developer on that one. Loose lips might sink ships. Oh. Ah. Ah. I don't like that audio. I. I don't like this. What is- Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, oh, okay, wait, we got the second cassette tape. Okay, hang on a second. So here is the second one. We got the first one not too long ago. So this should hopefully lead to a cassette room right there. God, I can't hear anything. To retreat and save face, especially in the theater of war, has been a perplexity as old as conflict itself. The child may well tidy his room, but not directly after a dressing down. Left to his own devices will allow him to decide for himself. <laughs> the audio! Or at least to appear to do so. Okay, there we go, so that- was oh! Okay, never mind. That's... Oh god, my- my nerves are so high. I'm not gonna lie, this game is doing a hell of a job. <laughs> I... Oh. Oh, this is so fucked. This is, this is the definition of spooky. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Uh, shut the door. Shut the door. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. Okay, <laughs> so it seems like that ghost figure, that's what I'm gonna call it. It kind of, or well, it looked like a person underneath a bed sheet or something like that. Has... Barricaded this door, but it's not... What was that? <laughs> Dude, this is so fricked. Okay, hang on a second. So we're back in the submarine in which it seems like something appears to be holding it shut. And the water looks like it's draining itself. Wait a minute. Okay, it's, it's not shut anymore. This is, I should not be going in this direction, but I'm going to continue to go in this direction. Combination safe. Use key numbers to unlock it. Okay. Um, we don't have any number or any passcode yet to be unlocking that safe. So we might have to come back to this section as long as nothing changes on us because this game has a tendency to change the layout quite often. So where, what is, what's this you picked up a locker key okay hang on a second does that open up that there's like a new picture in there that's interesting okay and what about this okay there's nothing in th what okay so what locker key is that for is that supposed to go back over into this room that has that has the combination safe is that what this is for no, we need an actual key code. What about these lockers, though? Okay, nothing here. And you unlocked the locker. Okay. No, 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 no. There's something there. Okay, wait. You picked up the... Okay, so we got the third cassette tape. 
but that still doesn't provide us any insight on what this key code is supposed to be for that locker. But that doesn't matter, okay. Either way, see, this is what I'm talking about. Things just changed right here, and now there's probably not going to be... See, it's gone. I, oh. If the subordinate shows disobedience, then naturally he will need to be disciplined. Standing by a subordinate's rash decision, however, is even more important. You should never allow the other side to suspect mutiny. If the viability of the product is compromised, then the reputation of the corporation will surely follow. Okay. Whoa, dude. This game is... What? Okay, what if I go down here, though? And then I go back. Does it unlock? Okay, no. Some of the other doors, I'm not gonna lie, some of the other doors have been doing that, but it doesn't seem like this one is doing that. Oh! Oh! Scared the shit out of me! Fuck! God damn! Oh. Yo, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. What's this, though? Okay, that's the fourth cassette tape. Dude, can you just- can you not? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, dude. That scared the living hell out of me. Okay, okay, he's- he's following me. He's following me. That's alright, that's alright. We just gotta expect a spoo- <laughs> We just gotta expect a spooky boy. Oh! And... What? Dude, this game is such a mind fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Like, dude. This is like unsettling Okay, so it looks like all these different places are getting nuked or something along those lines. Oh That's great. That's great. Oh I don't like this. This is so trippy and it's just so unappealing I mean not like unappealing, but are you actually dead? Or are you just playing dead? Hang on a second here We got to check out these lockers. I never knew that you could open these lockers to begin with I don't like that dead body in the corner. This is like really unsettling right now. Okay, you can just stay there. I'm gonna shut the door. I don't want you to like come back to life or do something spooky like that. Where does this go to? There's another dead body. Okay, go figure. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, where does this go? God, this is such a maze right now. That's probably what they're trying to get at, I'm gonna assume. What? Oh. No, 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 no. Bruh, I can't tell if these are like dead bodies or if they're like piles of coke or salt or something. <laughs> Not to be like that, but... Okay, so here's the fourth a cassette. is the situation in which further action or progress by opposing parties seems impossible. The deadlock cannot be broken for fear of one side or the other losing everything and gaining nothing. The knot can be loosened, however, if both sides become better informed of the other party's situation. More often than not, though, neither side will want to show their hand before the other, and thus the stalemate continues. Okay, this probably <laughs> So that was the fourth cassette tape. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. There was probably gonna be something spooky. I just didn't trust these dead bodies. We're not even gonna look behind us. We're just gonna keep going forward. Never mind. Oh, that is a shame. That is a shame. Oh <laughs> the key is right there. There's oh my god, nope. Nope, I'm not enjoying this one. 
Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool, guys. I'm just gonna open up the door, and I'm not even gonna look behind me. That is a, that is a big nope. We're gonna go straight downstairs. Yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies again. I can't tell if they're real or if they're fake. I'm just trying not to trigger something spooky right now. Okay. There was nothing in the drawers or the lockers to my knowledge, which is good. That makes it a little bit easier. What's this thing? Okay, that looks like an alarm. Where does this... Dude, I don't... It's... It's too far away to pick up. Oh, there's a... Okay, so there's something down there. This should trigger the uh, little area where we couldn't reach that item before. Because the water... Oh, look at that. Now it's grabbable. Okay, we got an empty bottle. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Oh. Oh. 6074. Okay, hang on a second. 6074. There we go. Now we're getting the passcode. Now I wonder if this is going to be for the safe, which it probably is. And I think the safe was... I'm just trying to ignore the spooky noises. Okay, right here. There we go. So it's going to be 6074. Oh, wait. Uh, use key- use keyboard numbers to unlock. Um, wait a minute. Seven, four. There we go. Okay, combination found. Yes, that's good. Oh, wait, you picked up the locker key. Oh, okay, okay. This is- it's really awkwardly all starting to make sense in a weird way. Now there's- there we go. This was the locker that was locked, and oh- Oh, okay, that's cool. We actually got an axe now, so we can attack. We are upgrading, boys. This is where things are going. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on a second here. Yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you right there. You're gonna die once I get a piece of you. Okay. Actually, this is kind of awkward, but I have an idea. What if you're supposed to use this axe to cut off one of the dead body's hands, and we're supposed to use that as the thumbprint identification in which we need to get into the locked room? Now, I know that's kind of an obscure thought, and that might be far-fetched, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. Okay, uh, none of this is working so far. Oh, that scared me. Okay, yeah, oh my god, wow. That actually worked. Okay. For once in my life, I can actually think. Okay, hang on a second here. Um, I think it was this way. Oh, this is sketchy. This is sketchy. Okay, so we're gonna use this. What? He just killed himself? What? Grab his gun at least. Who is he and what was he doing? Wait, we have to use the computer. Launch sequence initiated. Target acquired and validated. Launch countdown. There's 24 seconds? Oh! Oh, he's the one that set off the nuke. Press 1 to continue launch. Okay, hang on a second. Enter security code. I don't know the security code. Oh god, we're gonna blow something up. I should have looked. I should have looked. Oh, there has to be a code. There has to be a code somewhere. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. That's not good. Okay, I, uh... Was that it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this is weird. We're back in a box. <laughs> I don't like it when we're trapped in these boxes, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, is there supposed to be a way out? Wait, no, there's a cassette now. Okay, hang on a second. So this is the fifth cassette. Let's listen to it. 60 seconds to go. 
the gravity of the situation was underestimated. Like a western gunfight, one party, it would seem, has drawn first. The bullet, however, takes 12 minutes to reach the cowboy, giving both sides ample opportunity to empty their barrels. Slowly, the seconds tick away. Okay, so I have an idea. When he said the reference that it takes 12 seconds for it to reach the cowboy, what he's meaning by this is it's going to take 12 seconds of the nuke to reach its destination. And then he also referenced that this gives time for the other party to release their barrel. In this case, it would be the opposing team to actually take their nukes as well and launch them back. And now we're back home. This is so weird, dude. Okay, let's see if the radio has updated anything that we're supposed to listen to. No? Okay, let's go check our computer. Oh, we're locked in. I don't like this. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's locked. my mind okay okay <sighs> wow first winter a game by Dan Sanderson the ending the nuclear first nuclear winter for my wife who supported me for months while I made this thing. Wow, okay, so it looks like this game might have different endings and the one that we triggered was the nuke. <laughs> so literally our house just got nuked. What the hell though, this is so mind boggling because I didn't see no code on how to stop the nuke in the first place, which is kind of the reason that we got this whole thing detonated. I don't understand the whole spook appeal, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed that I had this thing sitting on my desktop for months and I haven't played it. This was actually exceptional. I'm not gonna lie, this was like freaking awesome, man. All right, well, there is the home screen again, but either way, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I don't have enough time right now to dive into the different endings. I'm just gonna leave this playthrough the way it is, but don't worry, I actually might come back and try to trigger some of these different endings because this game was pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, but either way, thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Dylan, also known as Six Fox, and I would like to see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the next upload, but let me know what you thought about this in the comments and Till then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next episode. Until next time.